My name is Anna Faye. I've been in Woodbridge since year 10. I live in Horsham and I like patterned socks nearly as much as I like dart boys. Yeah. Oh, hello there. I've just been reflecting upon my time at grammar and I've noticed a trend in my school dance dates. In 2013, I took Jake Lock Lockhart from Dart House. In 2014, I took Jesse Kugel, also from Dart House. And in 2015, I took Will Coots. Is he from Dart House? Yes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Alice Lorenz, and I'm from Castle May, and I really love badminton, and I've been in Woodbridge for a year now and it's been amazing. Mm, this is good. That's amazing. The universe might be a hologram. That's amazing. Can I just say, that's amazing. Hi, I'm Chloe O'Han. Okay, nice one. Hi, I'm Chloe. I live so far away in Creswick. It takes 20 minutes. It's so long. I've been in one bitch for four years! Anyway, um, I'm part-time vegetarian, part-time paleo, part-time sugar-free on Wednesdays. Um, I love chocolate popcorn. Um, it's really good for you. It's really good for you. I also want to save the polar bears. Harley, and this is Big Boggy, and they're like basically best friends. <laughs> what are you doing? Where's Sanchez? Oh, sorry, I was just asleep. I'm Sanchez, I've been with Bridge for four years. I'm from Broome. I like tomato sauce and never get any sleep because I'm always on my phone and I have great goals. Where's Sanchez? Where's Sanchez? Where's Sanchez? Where's Sanchez? Hi, my name is Shani. 
I like Collingwood. I mean, I love Collingwood. Um, I love Neighbours and I love Bachelorettes. And, sorry, I love the Bachelorettes. <laughs> the majority of my afternoons in my folio, but now that it's done, I love to go to the road and buy cheesels because I love cheesels. Go to the Collingwood! This year, it's so terrible, but ja it's alright. Jamie and I got Mark of the Year. But Neighbours at the moment, oh my god, I know, it's so intense. There's an affair going on. Lauren's gonna move out and marry Brad and stuff. But oh, this folio is due tomorrow. Super imposition. Amazing topic to talk about, Alma. Alma. Alma! Hi, I'm Jessica Wilhelm. I've been with Woodbridge for four years and I live in Barham and I love the internet, like seriously, and I love taking really good selfies. Isn't it dead? Hey, good morning, Martha. Isn't it What are you doing? Hi, my name is Matilda. I'm from Melbourne. My hobbies are art and basketball. I've been here since year nine, and you're most likely to find me right this year. Hi, I'm Sophie. I've been here since year eight, and I'm from Papua New Guinea. I like to listen to Papua New Guinea music. And I like to laugh. <laughs> 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 I'm from Nanny Mark. I've been with Woodbridge for three years now. I really like Darwin and America and I love to nay nay. Hey Chloe. Hey what? Watch me play. Watch me nay nay. Watch me play. Watch me nay nay. In Darwin, it is 30 degrees every single day. In Darwin, we have bigger couches. Today on David Annabelle, we have one of our native crocodiles. In Darwin, we have crocodiles. What are you doing? So, are you from Darwin? Yes. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm from Karen Balik. I've been a part of Woodbridge for a year now. My hobbies include Snapchat and swiping right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Amelia. I'm from Lake Bolac and I've been in Woodbridge since year 11. I'm very athletic. I'm very good at basically every sport I do. And I really like Nutella. Nutella goes on everything. On my bread, on my pizza, on my dinner, on my breakfast. It even spreads all over my homework. I wish it really was here. I'll just check in here a I Hi, I'm Isabel Cleary. I'm from Casterdon and I've been in Woodbridge for two years and I'm house captain this year. I like playing netball and talking to boys. <laughs> Like knows about people who are like coming into boarding. Why is she going to trust you? Hi, I'm Emma Forsyth. I'm from Bali and I've been a part of Woodbridge for four years. I love a good Dr. Phil episode, but I've finished it all, so I'm on World's Strictest Parents. Wait, can you call my phone? <laughs>
Well, Andrew thought his only way out was a gun. He ended up in the hospital and that story took another turn. Actually, no. And like, he doesn't stop in Tokyo. He just keeps walking and talks. Yeah. Yeah, one time he like... He was like... He was like going through the door, and then he like went to open it, saw it was me, and then kept walking.